Welcome back. So when I ask you, what do you think is the fastest growing criminal enterprise in the world? You may maybe think of drug cartels, cyber crimes, maybe mob activity, but the correct answer is human trafficking. Every year, thousands of women, children, and men fall into the hands of traffickers. They can be forced to become sex slaves, prostitutes, laborers, or even worse. And if these victims are lucky, law enforcement officials will find them in transport before they reach their destination and would never be seen or heard from ever again. Did you also know that Pennsylvania is ranked in the top 10 states for reported cases of human trafficking? And that is why the Acervo Project is making it its mission to combat global human trafficking and sexual predators. And here to tell us about what the project is doing right here in Pittsburgh is Director of Communications for the Acervo Project, Kristen Colangelo. Kristen, thanks so much for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Well, we really appreciate it. And this is a heavy topic, but such a critical topic to be discussing in this day and age. Right. Uh, so I guess let's start from the beginning. What is the Acervo Project, please? So we're a nonprofit that combats human trafficking and child exploitation, um, you know, to many different ways. Um, yeah, how so? Yeah. So um, the two major things that we do are operations and education. And um, when I say that, <clears throat> the way that we do that is we actually come alongside law enforcement. So we can provide law enforcement with human and cyber intelligence to gather up enough information to, to then take to them and allow them to do an arrest, um, you know, arrest a trafficker and rescue a victim. So um, we've partnered with law enforcement um, at all levels, wow. that's local, state and federal. So essentially you're gathering evidence yeah. is really what you're doing. Um, I'm right. an attorney, I used to serve as a prosecutor, and I think something else that's interesting about this case is, or uh, this project, excuse me, um, what people may not even realize at home is that prostitution cases can often lead to the discovery of human trafficking instances. Absolutely. And so talk to me, when you're gathering that evidence to then turn over to law enforcement, what are some of the things that you see, Kristen? Certainly, and I think that's you know one of the biggest problems um, because human trafficking is so hidden that people might see it as prostitution initially, thinking mm -hmm. that you know this is this person made this choice to be there, that they're choosing this for themselves. But in actuality, we're finding that it's actually most times not their choice; that they right. are being forced by someone else. Someone else is controlling them to do those things. So right. absolutely, a lot of times we do see, you know, it looks like prostitution, yes. but somebody is actually controlling them. And when people say, well, prostitution is a victimless crime, sometimes you hear that argument, you know very well from the work you're doing, and I know from having seen these cases as a former prosecutor, that oftentimes this can lead to the discovery of things like this. I mean, enterprises that are going on, trafficking individuals and oftentimes underage individuals. Yes. How often do you see young children being victimized? Oh my gosh, yeah, child exploitation is rampant. It is absolutely rampant. Um, and again, it, it is so hidden in, in our culture. It could be under the guise of, you know, parents or someone pretending to be a boyfriend to a child and somebody who, um, you know, might may be made to look older than they are. Um, and they are children. And it is, it's alarming and it's disturbing, but it is absolutely true. And in the work that the Acervo Project does, uh, are you seeing much of this occurring in the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh area, outside of this region? What yeah. are you seeing as far as where it's occurring? Certainly, you know, um, sex trafficking in the United States alone profits more than $35 billion. And wow. Pittsburgh is no exception to that. Um, you know, the thing that we have to keep in mind is that this is a criminal enterprise that is fueled by the demand for sex, for cheap labor and cheap services. And so, you know, anywhere where there is the demand, it will be there and Pittsburgh is no exception. Right, Kristen. And when folks think, well, how do we combat this? How do we combat the problem? What do you say uh, as someone who's leading the charge with the Acervo project? Sure, sure. Um, I would say the two major things are, you know, we as an organization are a solution to human trafficking. So when people are supporting us through financial means or using their platform to be a voice for us, um, you know, we're the solution. So supporting us, we're the ones, you know, boots on the ground, all in fighting this. So we do, we need, we need an army behind us supporting us, again, whether that is financially or, you know, using people who have platform um, to use that to be a voice 
for people whose voices have been silenced. A voice for the voiceless, right? Yes. And you have an interesting name. There's a meaning behind the Acervo project. Tell me yes. about the name. Yeah. Meaning, Acervo is actually Latin for rescue or save life. Wow. That's really powerful stuff. Yeah. And uh, well, Kristen, thank you so much for coming on today to talk to us about it. And there's Absolutely. so much more to be discussed and so much more to be learned. And mm -hmm. we want to let everyone at home know you can find out more about the Acervo project that's happening here in Pittsburgh, how it's helping to fight human trafficking, as Kristen was just telling us about, and what you can do as well. And you can find a link to that project's website at kdk.com forward slash PTL.